When the cold bites all around, without your powerful spells, uh, there's no way I can find it. Someone once saw a chubby boy jump from the cliff with a watermelon in his arms. He rushed to the edge of the cliff but saw no movement down there. Seemed like certain death. But suddenly, he heard the boy laughing from beneath, on and on. Bewildered, he fled from the cliff. This story may offer a clue for my treasure hunt. Maybe the watermelons were planted under the cliff. Don't let me keep you, sir. I will leave by myself when I feel warm enough. Don't let me keep. I will leave by myself.
Yeah. <laughs> 
It's the eyes that seek with your power. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs> 
Entangled in the web of all deceptions of the heart. Who knows which thread in the net of my thoughts marks me true. In a place for chanting and peace, you reek of blood. Sit and seek solace in the scriptures with me. We both bear misdeeds, things we had to do. Life demands of us acts we'd rather not. I've seen and severed the illusions of life. Now, I devote my existence to the scriptures for redemption. It is as easy to recite as it is difficult to embody. Let not the years lead you to lament as they have led me. The thought springs, a world blue. What is right and what is wrong? To kill is foul, but for a noble cause, can it be justified? The eyes are lured by sight, ears by sound, nose by odor, and tongue by taste. Every sense is ensnared by contact, yet the mind, based on the perception of all, differs from all. All six, tied to its kind amidst the mortal world, are unswayed by each other. The eyes are lured by sight. All six of the eyes.
My friend, Yellow Wind Ridge offered me nothing. Yellow Brow, the Buddha, was my next plea. Only after meeting his grace in the New West did I see. I wasted my life for others and missed much joy. No more journey now. My king is suffering, yes. But does one not weave the threads of one's destiny? Peace is living for yourself. His grace speaks true. Indulge, and you shall be carefree. This joy, it's new to me, like never before. Ah, my king once sought wisdom in such a Dharma place. His son, too, was a disciple of a bodhisattva. Now I, too, walk on this path. I hope I'm following in my king's steps. Say, my friend, why don't you stay here and tread this path with me? My king once sought wisdom in such a Dharma place. His son, too, was a disciple of a bodhisattva. Now I, too, walk on this path. I hope I'm following in my king's steps. Say, my friend.
Ages ago, Jin Janza and I were peers. Ever questing with goodwill, he was. His nature made him question the supremacy of us beyond mortal woe and grief. He deemed all souls could be akin to us. Why then do we tower whilst others merely kneel and offer? He asked. I told him the others are less than us. His misstep cast him back into the endless cycle. Reborn, he drew three disciples. But what did they change? One ended up a corpse, others fugitives. He too took to the shadows. <laughs> Pathetic. Those journeyers have misplaced their worship. Why bet on the Sutra when one oneself can be a Buddha? Trickster caught you too. This wicked sack is much more vicious than before, nurturing such evilness. Yellowbrow must have woven Wukong's strength into it. That bastard. Join me. Let's fight our way out. <laughs> Not the pieces and the I see. Nonsense. <laughs> Without 
thousand heed my words. Revere my name. They are always yours to have your fill of courage. <laughs>
I... I saw how this would end for you long ago. No. Keep fighting for others, and in time, you shall fall by their hands. I... Yellow bro, fight solely for myself. I have to be lost. I will not lose. If only I could wield that monkey's relic just once more. <laughs> this rogue stole my seed sack and fled here. With Wukong's relic, he made it a soul snatching vessel. He also took my look and my name to trick his old foes into vengeance. Hmm. Uh, you pot belly. I should have figured out it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive my little deception. <laughs> Stolen once, I buy it. Stolen twice, I doubt it. <laughs> Your doubt is fair. I shouldn't have underestimated his nerve. I meant to subdue him myself, but you two were swifter. Fortune favors you, Bajie. But I see great potential in this young one. He might just be... Hmm? The right monkey. Enough of this empty talk! I don't care if Yellowbrow drowns in the lake. We can't have Wukong's relic sink with him! <laughs> For that, pray, lend me that break of yours.
You tarried in the mortal world for a good while, didn't you? Speak clearly. Once again, I proved it to you, Jin Shan Tzu. <sighs> you chose a means to an end, not to a proof. You sow chaos in hearts just for the sake of winning. How absurd and pathetic. <laughs> if not for winning, why debate over means and ends? That stone monkey merely named himself a sage, yet this altar boy dared to found his own faith and proclaim himself Buddha. Your faith is firm and will unwavering. You resisted his lures. All those who were high and mighty found their minds lost and their faith stained. But was it truly because of their devotion to Yellowbrow? <laughs> As you braved ice and snow, did the stench of shattered ego reach your nose? verse of the ultimate truth, Snow Mountain ascetic gave his life, so attained Buddhahood. Such is the sole way to rise above all and build a faith. If those with talents should proudly scorn the rules and do as they please, how then may all the realms enjoy peace and prosperity? A soul can fathom his mind. Chanu of the North, the vanquisher of Yaguais. The Jade Emperor once ordered him to purge the world of evil. The turtle and the snake were his generals back then. Alas, the Snake General can no longer join the ranks, and Chanu is no more. My friend, not gold. Gold, my ass. My bones are cracking from logging this load. Step it up. I gotta catch that beast on time. <laughs> Hear me out. They say that hag has a quirky ways. Each season she'd wear a mate and devour him. <laughs> Once our lady brought her a wedding gift, a mirror. The past echo. Which? The past echo. The lady often speaks of it with regrets. I wonder why. Let me finish, will you? The hag got the mirror and looked into it, and for no reason at all, she threw it away. That soured our lady's mood. She stopped visiting since then. Gibbering and jabbering. Couldn't even catch a wink of sleep this whole time. 
What? Who's in there? How dare you spoil the gift from her who's You come down and join us. <laughs> Leaving so soon? Why the shyness? <laughs> <laughs>